Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sri Banner, G-Certified Astrologer, and in this segment I'm going to be going over the full moon that takes place on uh, November 27th, 2023 at 4.16 a.m. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's see what's going on in the heavens. Um, you have a full moon where the moon is in Gemini, and so Gemini is kind of known as um, uh, more emphasis on play and um, not as much and in, uh, in, in work um, and then if you see the opposition on the other side um, Mars is conjunct to Sun so when you have Mars and Sun um, opposition to the moon there might be some uh, emotional tension uh, going on and of course after Thanksgiving sometimes um, that takes place um, and then Saturn um, what you have is kind of providing it um, there's a square between Saturn and the Sun and then a square between Saturn and the moon so this can kind of mediate this dynamic tension that is um, occurring here um, as well so um, looking at some of the other heavenly um, bodies um, uh, first of all this is actually considered uh, the beaver moon um, according to the old farmers of almanac um, and also um, in the Lakota um, Indian tribe, um, this is known as the running deer moon. Um, so looking at some of the other heavens, um, uh, other heavenly bodies, Jupiter is actually um, opposing, Taurus Jupiter is opposing um, Scorpio on the ascendant. Um, However, it, while this is an opposition, uh, sometimes the seventh house is also seen as uh, complementary to the first house. Um, and so this I see as more of a positive impact um, with Venus approaching um, the ascendant over here um, that allows for growth. Um, then you have some of these other planets uh, Mercury in the second house, um, and that's, that might improve communication. Um, and, and then also you have um, some of the other planets, Uranus, um, over here in the seventh house. Um, so this is kind of the outlook of what is going on on November the 27th. Um, I hope this has made some sense. Thank you for listening.